Tell me about the start of Muse now. Um, we started with, uh, <coughs> I lived in a town called Timoth, which is like southwest countryside of, of England. It's sort of quite a very rural place, about a few hours from London, right? And, um, it's quite, there's nothing really happened there, it's very boring, especially for kids around 13, 15, there's, you couldn't get into the bars, couldn't drink, and there was no nightlife, there was nothing to do really, so we used to just, we used to, you know, drink a lot and stuff, and do stuff like that, down the seafront, you know, and it wasn't really, it wasn't very, very good, and I started hanging out with these girls who were, like, really hot, and, like, they were, like, um, they wanted to be witches, you know, and, um, and I thought I might have been on something, because I thought it was a load of bullshit, you know. Because well, at the time I was doing all this Ouija board stuff with my mum, and I was thinking, so I was, I was, I was involved with that. I don't really believe that now, but at the time I think, when I met these girls, I thought, I thought it was a chance to get laid, you know. And, um, and, they, and they were talking about getting in bands and stuff, so we started getting bands together. I started wearing loads of makeup, actually, and all this stupid hair and stuff, and I was just trying to get laid with these women, you know, really. But, but that was sort of how it started, we were in these different bands. Um, but then as we got to about the age of 16, most of the band started splitting up and people started losing interest in that. And um, me, Dom and Chris formed a band called Rocket Baby Dolls. And, um, and it's just the three of us. And we, only, we formed that name just for one week to, in order to, first of all, try and lose a, get these women, you know what I mean? And they're like, they, they dressed us up and stuff. We started hanging out with them and, and it was starting to happen. And we were still wearing all this stuff from Rocket Baby Dolls. And we went into this competition, like a Battle of the Bands contest with all these other bands. And, and uh, all the other bands were like really sort of funky, sort of pub rock, you know, and they're all like older. So we went there just to take the piss out of it, really, and we sort of chucked our instruments around and, uh, and did all this sort of thing. And had these, we had all these women on stage naked and shit. And, um, and we, th we did it all just to take the piss, you know. But we ended up winning. And when we won the competition, that sort of, we suddenly thought, actually, maybe, maybe we should do, do this more seriously. So we started, we changed the name to Muse and sort of mellowed out a bit for a while. Not musically, the music was still real heavy, but. We sort of just concentrate on making music for the next couple of years, really. And then we released our first EP when we were about 19. Could you explain the name change? Why? Um, the, the, we were called Rocket Baby Dolls because it was a Japanese porn film we saw. And, um, and we, we saw it with these girls and we were sort of all dressing up together, you know? And um, it's just like a... At the time, I was in other bands called Gothic Plague, which were different members. It wasn't Dom and Chris. When Dom and Chris got together, we only got together f to form this one thing for one week, you know. And it was, but when we won, it was when we won the competition that we realised actually we should stay together, and and, we, and that was when we actually took it more seriously and, and put together like an actual band, you know. Before that, it was it was more like a uh, just a bit of theatrical fun, you know. Um. According to the press, to the press in Britain, you're quite, quite upfront as persons and and theatrical. Uh, yeah. Do you see yourself? In that? Um. I see myself. Not very often, really. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe there's an element of. I think when we're on stage, you know, when we're playing on stage, I think that's really who I am. You know, that's that's like being. That's the most honest person I could be. It's like everything inside me coming out. You know. And, uh, and that's like, I love, that's what I love about playing live, that's why I love playing live so much. It's one of the main reasons I got into the band, was to get that feeling, you know, of like, of pure freedom. And, um, and the thing is, if you, get, if, you get used to doing, if you get used to doing gigs, like, every day and stuff, and you, get, you get used to living like that, I think you generally become a little bit more open, you become a bit more, sort of, like, you, that, that sort of way of thinking starts to rub off in your everyday life, you know? And, um, and you start... So I think it's probably something. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about theatrical, but I don't, I don't think we're any, I don't think we're anything different to other people. You know, I mean, it's just the same as anyone else really. But just having a good time as much as possible. Really. And um, well, on stage, on stage, it's, you're pushing yourself to your limits. You know, you're finding your own physical limits, <coughs> finding out what notes I can sing and how. You know, you're pushing yourself. So in the process, maybe. You, you know, you react in a way that's flamboyant, you know, I think that's just being on stage, you know. Um, and, and the press again, they <laughs> accuse you of, like, copying a famous...
this <laughs> band called like um, Thumb York's band. It is like you, 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 um, you react to that. Um, I don't, don't, really, don't really mind too much. Um, I think I think that people, people, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. You know, everyone says what they want. I think that's what makes the world interesting. You know, some people love it, some people hate it, some people think you're fake, some people think you're the realest thing. You know, it's just different opinions, and I think that conflict is interesting. I'd, I'd rather that than everything, everyone being the same. You know, so I think everyone can just, just everyone can say what they want, and I don't. You know, I'm interested whether it's good or bad. Um, could you describe your music? Um, I'd say it's like a combination of modern rock styles, you know, things like Rage Against the Machine to um, Queen, <laughs> no, <laughs> Rage Against the Machine, a bit Jeff Buckley maybe or something, but a combination of modern rock combined with an appreciation for the history of the evolution of, of music, you know. I listened to a lot of, I, used, I did a lot of flamenco guitar stuff, a lot of flamenco lessons, not lessons, I mean flamenco learning, um, Spanish guitar, that's like folk music, so some folk music from Europe, and like, I, like, I listened to a bit, a bit of classical music as well, so that's what I mean when I say the history, the history of the evolution of different musics from European history, because European has, has a great, you know, evolution of music over, over hundreds of years. Um, that probably combined with some modern American rock type stuff. Yeah. Hmm.